Hey YouTube, Slip on Queen here. Just want to come here today and I wanted to share a Shop Miss A haul. So, I recently placed an order on Shop Miss A and I got my order the other day and I wanted to go in here and share it with you guys. So, let's get started. So, the first thing that I ordered um, from Shop Miss A is their um, AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream. I love this BB Cream so much. If you've been watching my channel for a while and you've watched my Shop Miss A hauls, you definitely know that I order this every time because I love this BB Cream. So I ordered three this time because I want to make sure they don't like take it off the site and I never find it again. So I went ahead and ordered three in light. I love this stuff guys. I prefer to use BB cream every day instead of foundation because foundation is really clogs my pores really bad. No matter which brand it is or different type it is, it always clogs my pores. So I ended up getting just the BB cream because I really love the way it feels on my skin. So I ordered three of those this time. And then I do plan on doing a Shop Masse haul like full face tutorial. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and get a few things that I was going to need for that tutorial eventually. So I went ahead and ordered one of the AOA Studio hand mirrors. And I will show you that it is a mirror. I'm going to do it like that so I don't blind you guys. But it's really nice and it's going to be really perfect for whenever I'm actually doing my tutorial like this. I'll have it right there. So I wanted to go in here today definitely show that to you guys because I think it's really awesome that they offer that on the site. So very excited for that. And I went ahead and ordered um, two blushes this time because I wanted an option to have like a peachy colored uh, blush and I wanted a pinky tone. So um, I definitely wanted to get on here and show this to you guys, these different blushes they have. They have a ton of different blushes on their site, but these are the two that I was excited for. This is the Malibu Glitz. They're both from that brand but they're different looking, so I wanted to go here and share it with you guys. So this one here has more of your cheaper packaging, like with that, you know, plastic clear top. Um, but the blush is beautiful. This one is in the color Pink Coral. I love the print on this. It's really beautiful. It doesn't have a weird scent to it. This smells like blush. Um, and when you swatch it, look at that beautiful color. It's very pigmented. It's one of them you could blend out if you don't like it, like real intense, but look how beautiful that is. So I was very excited for that. And I can't wait to try these out. Because in the summertime, I'm more apt to use more pinky toned blushes. So I definitely wanted to um, order one. And then they have one that comes in a compact like this, same brand. And these are called their blushers. And this one is in the color peach. It does come with a mirror and it does come with a little poof. Um, but look how beautiful this one is. I'm excited for this one. This one's really pretty. And the color of it's gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So either way you're wanting to go, if you're wanting more of a pinky tone or a more coral tone, um, or like a peachy shade, they've got so many different options on their site. Um, but I thought those were cool. And this is nice if you're going on like a like a trip or something and you just want to throw an inexpensive blush into your like travel stuff just in case something happens to it. Um, this one would be nice to carry because it has the compact, has the little poof, which I probably won't use. but um, And it has a really nice blush in it. So I'm really excited for this. And it's something really great to think about if you're going traveling and you don't want to take like, your high-end products. Maybe you could go with something like this. You know, if it gets lost, it doesn't, like, hurt your feelings. Um, so very excited for that. And then I ordered this. This is an AOA Studio Wonder Baked Eyeshadow. And I ordered this because, um, this one's the color Creme. I ordered this because it looks like it could be used as a highlighter, like a subtle highlighter. Um, and right now it just looks like a really pretty, like, white shade. But when you look at it really close in the light, you can see that there's, like, an iridescent look to it and a shimmer. So I'm going to swatch it for you guys. I'll do it wet as well because you can use them either way. So this is what it looks like if you swatch it with your um, your finger. Um, this is what it looks like when you swatch it on your like hand. Isn't it beautiful? Now if I go to swatch it wet, which I'll wet my hand right here with my makeup wipe. And you can see that there's a difference in this. See how pigmented the one with the wet is and how the once dry is not as pigmented. You can see a difference in that. But I want to definitely show you that, guys, because sometimes you buy this stuff and you're like, hmm, like you don't know how it's going to look until someone's actually swatched it, so you don't 
you end up not even ordering it. And then you miss out on something really great. So this is really pretty if you're wanting a subtle highlight with like a goldish undertone. This is really pretty. You can use it for an eyeshadow or you can use it for an highlighter. So anyway, so I thought that was really nice and I went ahead and ordered that and that one's in the color Krim. And then I ordered a AOA Studio highlighting brush because I was really excited for this. I thought, you know, I do have a few AOA Studio um, brushes and I'm really impressed with them. So I went ahead and ordered this. So I'm excited for this. It's really nice. It's got a good um, soft uh, top, but it's still a little firm too. So I'm excited for this. This one is their F19. So I'm excited for that. And then let me clean up my trash right here. <clears throat> then I ordered an eyeshadow um, thing they had recently placed on their site and it's from LOL which is Lots of Love brand. It's a brand new brand on their uh, site and they had m like multiple colored palettes but I saw this one I thought you know I don't own a lot of green shadows and I thought this would be a really pretty um, thing to like experiment with and see what I thought. Um, so this is what it looks like when you take it out of the pack. And this one is the um, palette number three, and it's called Ivy Missed You. So it does come with your normal little eyeshadow applicator, which I'm not going to mess with. But isn't that pretty? So I'm going to swatch these, and I'll let you guys know what I think. Just swatching them. They're actually really pretty. They do look like they would be a little powdery. But, um, but overall, they're really beautiful. Yeah, they do have a little bit of fallout. But look how beautiful those colors are. Hopefully, y'all can see them a little bit. They're very pigmented, and they're very beautiful. And they kind of glide on like butter. Like, they're just, they're really smooth when they, um, when you swatch them. But, um, you know, swatching them and then actually applying them is a totally different, you know, it's totally different so you can't really say right off as this is fantastic so it's one of the things I'm going to have to experiment with and I'll let you guys know but um it is a little powdery just a little bit but these shadows remind me a lot of the perfusion um, brand eyeshadows if you've ever had those the formula feels the same so it's like it's very pigmented when you swatch it but it can't have fallout and sometimes when you apply it it may not look it might be a little patchy so we'll see I'll experiment with it and let you guys know but I am excited to have it these shades are really beautiful so I went ahead and got those and then I ordered a mascara and this is from the Amuse Cosmetics and this is a waterproof mascara I thought the packaging on this was absolutely gorgeous isn't it beautiful it's so reflective um, and this one I think it doesn't say the color does it no but I think I just got it in black because that's normally what I get my mascara in. So I will open it for you guys. So yeah, it's a little bit of a wetter formula. I can tell just by pulling it out. See, because a little bit comes out on the end. So it's going to be like a wetter formula, but I think it'll work. So. And it kind of has a perfume scent to it. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> I've never had a mascara that has a perfume scent, but this one actually has a perfume scent to it. Let me make sure I didn't imagine that. No, it does. It smells like a, um, there's like a perfume scent, like a light perfume. But, um, I am excited for that and I can't wait to try it out. And then I ordered an eyeliner from AOA Studio. It's their Wonder Liquid Eyeliner. This one reminds me of my e.l.f. one that I use all the time. Uh, like the packaging does so I wanted to get it to try it out in my tutorial when I do it Ooh, it's a really fine tip too I don't know if y'all can see that or not isn't it beautiful it's just nice and thin and I think it'll do the trick let's swatch it oh yeah yeah I think that's gonna work just fine look how fine that line is that's nice um I like that. It leaves a beautiful line. That's going to work great. I'm excited for this. So that is the AOA Studio one. 
And then um, I also wanted to get the AOA Studio Perfect Eyeshadow Primer because I didn't have an eyeshadow primer that I liked from AOA Studio. I have one from the Santee, I think it is, and it's just, it's more of a pearlescent one. And it's just too glittery and like too shimmery looking, so I just can't, I can't deal with that. So I ended up getting the AOA Studio one to try out. So this is what it looks like. And I will swatch it on my hand. It kind of reminds me of the Elf Primer eyeshadow primer that you can get for like a dollar. You know what I might do? Since I have some primer on my hand, I'm actually going to swatch one of these colors from this LOL and see how it looks. Oh, that's pretty. So if you swatch one of those LOL um, shadows, one of the green ones on the primer, look how beautiful. Oh, that's nice. So I do like that. That's actually really nice. And then I ended up ordering um, from Amuse Cosmetics the Nude Creamy Matte Lipstick. Now, me and matte lipsticks don't go together very well, but I wanted to at least experiment with one of these from the collection just to see if I even liked it at all. It's funny, some, there's some matte lip, liquid lipsticks that I love. There's some matte actual lipsticks that I like, and um, then there's some that I hate. So, this one here is called Cake. And it looks like this. And it does have a top where you can see the color. And I'm not 100% sure how this one's opened. Oh. Oh. That is so weird, guys. Okay. So... There's no opening down here like where you would pull it open. You have to push the top down and then the product comes out. So how weird is that? So, mmm, it smells like bubble gum. It smells good. So there's the color. I will swatch it on my hand. It's very smooth. That's actually really pretty. It does. It smells like bubble gum. So I'm actually going to apply some to my lips. I can actually use my mirror. <laughs> so, when you apply it, it definitely like mattifies quickly on your lips. Um, and as of the moment, it doesn't feel bad on my lips, but it feels like if you would probably put a lip balm on underneath before you applied it, it probably wouldn't feel like it's mattifying so fast. But it doesn't feel like super drying to my lips. It just feels medium. Um, it's probably one of them I could probably wear every day and not have a problem with. And the color is beautiful. But do, I would recommend to use a lip balm underneath before you apply it just to make sure your lips aren't going to look dry. Because that's always a good thing to do if you're using anything matte. Okay, so now on to this cute little lip gloss I saw on the site. This is the Cola Soda Gloss. This one's in strawberry. I thought this was so cute. They had so many different flavors on there, but strawberry just sounded like a good idea. So I went ahead and got that one. See if I can get all this stickers and stuff off of it. I've seen these on the site several times, but um, and I've always bypassed them because I always thought they probably weren't going to be that great. But I went ahead and just this time I thought, you know, I'm going to try it and just see because it can't hurt, right? So it's super cute. I can't hold on to it. It looks like a little like Coke bottle or something. There is your Dofa applicator. And it's a really light strawberry scent. Very, very light. And you don't get any color from this. It's clear. Yeah, it just has a light strawberry scent. And it's very glossy and shiny. And it doesn't feel sticky. I can sit here and use it with my finger. And I, uh, I already know that it's not going to be um, sticky. <clears throat> when you can put your um, finger on the actual product and you know do it like this and you can already tell if it's going to be super sticky or um if it's going to be you know 
able to use without your lips constantly sticking together because I can't stand that with some glosses and stuff. But that one's really nice. It's a real thin gloss, but it's very shiny. It doesn't give any color, but it does give you that glossy shine you're looking for. And then I ordered um, an LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss. This is Super Shine. And this one's in the color Plump. I thought this one was really pretty. So let me find the, the way to open it here. Okay. I thought this one was really pretty because of the purple color. Ooh, wow. It has a long um, doe foot applicator on it. And doesn't really smell like anything. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting this much color from it. That's pretty. Look at that. That's a lot of color payoff from this. I just thought it was going to be like a sheer, like purplish tint. That's actually really pretty and it's not sticky. Because like I said, I can just sit there and um, touch it and I know it's not sticky. That's actually really pretty. So I'm excited for that. So I might actually try it on my lips right now. Let me grab a clean wipe. Let me wipe off this matte lipstick. And the good thing with the matte lipstick is it comes right off when you wipe it. It's not drying my lips out, so that's nice. So let me get my mirror again. I just love this. So when you apply it to the lips, it's actually very moisturizing feeling. It's not drying at all. It's not sticky. And it gives you nice color payoff. Look at how beautiful that is, guys. I love that. And I can still rub my lips together. It's not sticky. It just feels really nice and smooth. So very impressed with that. I like that. And the last thing I ordered in this shop, Massey Hall, was I ordered a AOA Studio Sculpting Brow Pencil. This one's in medium brown. I kept hearing everybody say this was great, so I thought, you know, why not try it? I figured it would go well with my tutorial when I do it. So this is what it looks like when you take the top off. It is a little hard. But I think it's one of them, if you warm it with your body temp and stuff, it'll start working well. So this is one of them you have to warm up with your body heat. Like rub it and get it kind of warm and then it will do its job. But look how nice that is. That's a nice, um, that's a nice color. So that'll work well with my brows. So I'm very excited for everything I ordered. Um, and uh, like I said, Shop Masse is a great place to get inexpensive makeup, especially if you're wanting to do like a tutorial or something, or if you're just wanting some travel makeup that just, you know, you can get the job done and you don't care if something happens to it in the process of traveling and stuff. It's kind of a better option instead of taking all your high-end products and then having a chance of losing it or it breaking, like traveling around. So it is nice to have this option if you're looking for more affordable makeup to either use for traveling or just to do tutorials or whatever. It's just a nicer option to do and uh, I like to be able to get on here today and share this with you guys and do swatches and stuff. I just think it's fun. I enjoy it. Um, and like I said, I know I've said it multiple times, I am eventually going to do an actual tutorial of... Um, some Dollar Tree makeup and some Shop Masse makeup. Um, I just have to get that motivation to actually do the video because I get a little nervous about doing makeup tutorials and stuff, but I'm going to get past that and do it for you guys because I love you guys and I want to do that for y'all. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope that you check out Shop Masse and I will link their um, website description box down below for you guys. Please hit the like button if you like this video and hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And please hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video. And I hope you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.